Hello everybody. Today's uh, lecture is a grammar lecture which uh, contains two lessons. Both of them are very short and very easy. First of all, we are going to start with the WH questions. When I say WH questions, it means um, I'm asking for information and I'm asking a question. So I'm using these words to ask a question. Words such as what, who, where, why, how, whose, when, and which. All of these are question words that are used in order to ask questions. What is the structure of WH questions? In order to ask a WH question, we have to write the question word plus the auxiliary verb plus the subject or the object or the complement. For example, where do you live? Whose book is this? Why did you call me? All of these are question forms. Every question has a certain use and a certain meaning. When I ask who, it means I'm asking about a person. So who's that man? Where asks about a place. Where do you live? Why asks about a reason. Why are you leaving? When asks about time. When did you leave? How asks about manner. How are you going to Berlin? What asks about an object or an idea or an action? What do you eat for breakfast? Which asks for a choice? Which car do you like? Whose asks for possession? Whose is this book? What time asks for time? What time did you get home? What kind asks for a description? What kind of music do you like? How many asks about quantity or something which is countable? How many students are there? How much asks also about quantity, but about uncountable quantity. How much time have we, have, uh, we got? How long asks about duration, but about length. So how long did you stay? How often asks about frequency. So whenever, when do you do this action? How often do you go to the gym? How far asks about the distance? How far is your school? How old asks about your age? How old is your sister? What, which, and whose can be used with or without a noun as a question word? For example, what time is it? What is the time? So in both ways, it is correct. Which car is yours? Which is your car? In both ways, it's correct. Whose website is this? Whose is this website? So these can be used with or without a noun. Whom can only be used to elicit information about the object of the sentence. Although using whom would be grammatically correct, we normally use who because it doesn't sound so formal. So whom did you see? We would normally be expressed out as who did you see? So both are correct. Object questions. We have also some object questions like um, the uh, questions that asks about the object of the sentence. The word order of the question must be changed and the question requires the use of an auxiliary verb. So here you start with an auxiliary, then the subject, then the verb. So I quote the train to London. Which train did you catch? The train to London is the answer. I saw a film yesterday. What did you see yesterday? A film is the answer. Mary usually goes to school by bus. How does Mary go to school? By bus. So by bus is the answer. Subject questions are questions that asks about the subject. When, what, which, who or whose refers to the subject. The subject doesn't need an auxiliary, auxiliary verb. So the train to London arrived late. Which train arrived late? The train to London. So here we don't need an auxiliary verb. I won the race. Who won the race? I won the race. No need for an auxiliary verb. So when you ask about the subject, there is no need for an auxiliary verb. Here are some exercises that we are going to solve during the live sessions. Of course, with the answer uh, key. Now we move to inversions. First, inversions are used in order to emphasis or stress on a certain situation or idea. Yani, we use an inversion, yani we invert the sentence, and the sentence in order to stress or emphasis on a certain idea. Look at the example. I have never been to Spain. This is a normal sentence. 
Never have I been to Spain is an inverted sentence. So I invert this adverbial with um, the subject uh, of the sentence to stress on the sentence to show note that there is emphasis here. Jeanette has rarely shown progress this year. This is a normal sentence. Rarely has Jeanette shown progress this year. This is an inverted sentence. When the negative adverb, yeah, an adverbial, uh, never was put at the beginning, the situation was stressed. It means I'm an akid. When we use the adverbs with negative meanings like seldom, never, rarely, scarcely, hardly, in front of uh, position for emphasis, we invert the subject and the auxiliary or the model verb. Okay, like what we did above. Here you have some of the uh, examples about inversions, the um, uh, negative adverbials with the example sentences. And there is a note which is very important here. When the main verb is in the simple past, the auxiliary will always be did. Like, for example, um, for example, adverbial plus did plus the subject plus the verb. Okay, the active athlete never said I will work harder. Never did the act inactive athlete say I will work harder. Okay, when the verb is in the present, the auxiliary will be do or does. So this is uh, very simple, very easy. So as I told you, we invert the sentences in order to emphasis. And of course, we will give uh, more details during the live sessions. Here are also some exercises that we are going to solve together through... Thank you.